Hey guys, welcome to my book lover's gift guide for the year. I did not do one last year, I don't think, but two years ago I did one. And I have tried to make very few of these ideas overlapping. So if you need more ideas, you can go to my book wish list from yesterday's video where I share things that I would like for Christmas that are kind of like book related or a bunch of books. But if you need even more ideas after this video, then I will link my gift guide video from two years ago, I'm pretty sure it was. Ah, uh, yeah, so if you have a book lover in your life, or if you are a book lover and just need more ideas to give people, that's what this video is for. Sometimes though, when you have someone that enjoys books that you need to buy something for, you don't want to buy them books because you're not sure if they already own that book or if they're going to like that book, but you want to get them something bookish. That's kind of what this list is. There is one item on here that is books, but the rest are just bookish accessories. So I have 10 items plus a bonus. The bonus is just a little thing, so, and 10 sounded better than 11. So it's 10 items plus a bonus. The first thing we're gonna talk about and I should be wearing is book clothing. I have been selling some book clothing for the last few years and the last ones that I've made that are currently available in the shop, the Fox Books shirt, the, the books are calling and I must go and adventuring is opening a book are my favorite most comfy sweaters and they're all dirty right now. When I realized I was filming this video, I was like, of course, they're all dirty because I wear them all the time. Uh, I love those shirts so much. There are tons of bookish items of clothing and I think they would make really great gifts. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep making clothing, bookish clothing, but I think I will because I have so many ideas. Um, but I'm just gonna be releasing them in little bursts. So the items that I currently have in the shop are available till the beginning of January. And then I'll probably take a break for January and then put up some new stuff. But uh, my stuff that's currently in there, especially the Fox Books shirts, are very limited sizes right now because the printers are currently out of some of the sizes and colors. But I think that's a really good gift idea because it's something I would like to receive, especially when they're ultra cozy on top of being cool because they're about books. Okay, and then my one bookish thing would be to do a special edition of a book. And I have a bunch of different books that I really enjoy that I'm collecting different editions of. So I just pulled one that I don't talk about a ton um, that I have on my shelf. And this is Jane Austen's Emma. So I have had it in this tiny little edition with gold foil edges for years. And then I recently bought it in this Wordsworth collection edition. I don't even know if I like Emma. It was my favorite for a while, but I need to reread it to find out. Uh, but these editions are adorable. This is like a light pink. It's got gold foil. They have all the Austin books, plus they're constantly adding new classics in these editions. And I think they're beautiful. And the back of this one too, it's a little strawberries. And then I also have, I actually just found this one in a thrift store, I just shared it in a thrift haul. This is the Penguin English Library Edition, which apparently they do sell in Canada, I found out. But this one was completely not read, uh, even though someone brought it to the thrift store. So if you know they have like a favorite author or a favorite book, maybe finding like a unique edition of it. I actually might even have, I do have another Jane Austen bind up. I'm not sure if that one has Emma as well. But I think it's fun to own books that you enjoy in different editions. And this is this is an extra bonus because it's kind of piggybacking off of that. But if you know they have a favorite author, maybe finding something obscure. Like, everyone knows Tolkien, Tolkien, I know is the correct way to pronounce it, but oh well. Um, everyone knows him for like The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. But his letters from Father Christmas are pretty spectacular. And I think, I got this last year as a gift from one of my viewers and I just thought it was so cool because they're illustrate. it's an illustration, okay, well, no, what it is, is he wrote letters to his kids every year at Christmas as Father Christmas and this shows the images and um, they've transcribed his text and it's really cool. I feel like this is a really cool gift idea and then I know other authors kind of have 
things in a similar vein that could be used as a gift as well. Then let's just talk about memberships briefly. There are so many different places you can give book people memberships to. Um, it could be like a local bookstore. I know some of them have memberships where you get a certain uh, amount off every time you shop. If you are a member, you could do Audible, Kindle Unlimited, Book of the Month, uh, Scribd. There's a bunch of different resources out there and some of those you can get at discounted prices. I know like as of right now, there's often, there's a pretty good Kindle Unlimited deal going on and I'm pretty sure Audible still has one too. And none of them are super expensive to begin with but it's really fun to gift someone a membership because it's something that they can use generally for a few months depending how long you purchase it for. So I wanted to add that one in. Next up is a reading journal. I have been using my reading journal, this specific one, since April. Uh, so I, yeah, April. I made this reading journal. I sell it either as a digital, a digital download so you can print it at home or in this physical copy, just it's on Amazon. Um, and it has space for three books per page and I like documenting my reading this way even though I also do it on Goodreads. There's also tons of different reading journals out there depending what you're looking for. I think you can find something to suit your needs slash the needs of someone you're buying something for. And reading journals are a really good like memory keeping method I think. I have my kids doing reading journals and I think I'm gonna really cherish those because I think it'd be really cool to know what I all read when I was younger. I know it was Babysitter's Club, but like what else? Um, so I have kids ones too and I think they're just gonna be good memory keepers, even for myself. Like some of the things that I write down I think will be look cool to look back on. Like this one book, it's like I wrote made me cry. This one I didn't really enjoy. I said I needed to get to know the main character better. She felt too bland. And sometimes you can forget why you liked or didn't like a book and this can help with that. I found this idea online and almost bought it for my kids. It's a bookmark timer and I have my kids reading a certain amount of time uh, for, for homeschooling as part of their school. They read for 30 minutes out of a specific book each day and so I thought that would be so perfect. I also think because my daughter and I'm slowly getting into like the whole, whole Pomodoro method where you do something for a bit and then you do something else for a bit and you have it timed, I think the bookmark would work really well for that. I've been tempted to get us all some, I haven't yet, but I think it would be a really good idea. I do believe this one was on my gift guide from a couple years ago. I still haven't bit the bullet and bought one or asked for one, but I think it would be really cool to have a stamp, like a book plate stamp. So this book is from the library of, because I borrow out my books and I have had some of them that haven't returned and unfortunately I generally borrow out books that I enjoy so it'd be nice to have my name in there so that people could return them. And there's so many different options of really cool versions of this. The next thing I put on my list here is book mugs. So I do sell one in my shop. This is like a camping mug. It's metal I think maybe is the actual material. And then this is one that was gifted to me a while ago. This one is from the Unemployed Philosophers Guild. This one is a Sherlock Holmes themed one. This definitely makes me want to add more mugs to my shop that are like book character specific. I love this one. It has like quotes from Sherlock. And the Philosophers Guild are, it's like some of the wittiest, the wittiest business I've ever come across. So there was a paper inside the mug when I got it and it said new to mugs watch our video and they have a whole video on how you should use mugs and how you should place them on an even surface and not an uneven surface and on the bottom here this just cracks me up on the bottom it says let's see if it'll focus for best results use other side so you're not supposed to drink out of your mug this way you're just supposed to use this side I love that kind of humor. So a mug is a great thing, especially when it's bookish. My only thing is I have weird size tastes when it comes to mugs. I like small mugs for my hot cocoa and big mugs for my tea. But for my tea, I only fill it up halfway anyway. So I'm a smaller mug kind of person, but I like the look of big mugs, weird conundrums. But I feel like I'm not as bad as my husband because he wants cups, mugs that have 
also have white insides. He needs a big mug with a white inside so he can see how dark his tea is. So I feel like he takes it one level and is higher maintenance than me. This next idea I just came across and it is book conversation starters. I think it was called Lit Chat. And there's all these really great questions about books and I think they would be great for like live chat stuff here, for like meals with other people, just something with a book club. Um, I'm gonna get my hands on a set of these conversation starters for sure. Two plus a bonus more. Uh, one of them is a book cart, which mine is back there. Um, mine is from Ikea. I love putting the books I'm generally the most excited to read next on there. Uh, I have to do an update of mine. I'm gonna be doing that in January, I think. Taking all the books off, updating it. Uh, I love having a book cart. It just makes me happy to see it, see all the books I'm excited about on there. And so mine's from Ikea. I know Michael's has them, Amazon has them. You can find them like everywhere now. I also have one upstairs for our homeschool stuff that's like a teal color. They're great things. And I actually do have like a more vintage style like library cart thing here. My mom recently gave this one to me. She got it from her work. So I have a couple different carts for books going on. Then the last official item on the list is a book tote, a library tote. I do sometimes, most often, use a bin because I get so many books from the library, but I use my book tote all the time. Um, this is one that I sell. I have another one that's quite a bit smaller, so I only use it when I'm just taking like a book and a water bottle. This one can hold a lot of books. I've been taking it um, as I coach soccer. I've been putting my shoes in here, my water bottle, like my mittens and all the things I need for soccer coaching. Um, I, I love a good tote. And then my last one is something I'm gonna talk about more, I think next week or whenever the video is scheduled on my calendar. Um, book tabs, or these are just page tabs. Um, you can get some really cool ones online. I use these for tabbing up different quotes. So I can't remember which day I'm going to be doing that video. There will be a video coming up on how I annotate and tab books. But there's some really cool ones online with like different colors, muted colors. Um, the colors do mean things to me in my tabbing, but I would like a set of muted tones. Um, I think it would look pretty. It's very shallow. Uh, but I do like the ones like these ones that are quite see-through so I can if I'm putting it over top of words, I can still see what it says. So that was my bonus because those are generally pretty cheap. I get mine, this is half of a package and I get them from Dollarama for like $2 maybe. So there's 11 ideas plus, I guess that was two bonuses. And hopefully this will help you guys as you're buying things for book lovers or needing more suggestions for yourself for your wish list. Uh, let me know what are some bookish gifts that you have received or given that you've liked or other people have liked. I would always like to add to this list in the future. Thanks for being here guys.